Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Wherever you are this morning or this afternoon or this night, I welcome you to the message of hope. I give God praise and I give him thanks for another opportunity, hallelujah, to share his word with all of us. Let the word of God come into your life, come into your spirit, open up your heart. Hallelujah, let, the God, let God minister to you today to bring about change, salvation, healing, whatever your need may be. Let it meet you at the point of your need. Today we want to look into the gospel according to Matthew reading from chapter 8. But we're not going to do the whole chapter. Hallelujah. We're going to read from verse 23. And it reads thus. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves. But he, Jesus, that is, was asleep. And his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The topic today is cries of desperation. Hallelujah! Cries of desperation. Hallelujah. Let us look to the Lord in prayer. Father God, I give you praise and I give you thanks for hallelujah keeping us to see another day thank you for life and health and strength thank you oh god we are in our right minds i commit us all into your hands every nation on the heaven every creed every race my god every man every woman every boy every girl regardless of status in society thank you that your word will go forth today to minister healing and salvation deliverance and victory over the works of the enemy i give you praise and i give you thanks for what you're going to do oh god i'm in your presence i'm your vessel use me speak through me oh god let me say only what you would have me to say now in jesus name i pray with thanksgiving Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Cries of desperation. I want to let us know today. I want to let you know today wherever you are. Hallelujah. The Lord will hear and respond. Hallelujah. To your cries of desperation. Your cry for help. Hallelujah. Whatever the need that help is. God, our God, our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He will hear. The Bible tells us God hears the cry of the righteous. His ears are open. He has, he has a prayer and his ears are open. Hallelujah. More so, he will hear your cry. My God, if you're not yet saved, he will hear your cry for salvation. Hallelujah. Let's do a backup on what we have read here this morning. Hallelujah. The previous chapters, uh, Jesus was up, went up into the mountain where we have uh, the Beatitudes. Amen. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells us when he came down from the mountain, a leper, he saw a leper came to him for healing and he healed the young man. Amen. After that, the centurion sent his servant to, to Jesus Christ, telling him to come, to, that his servant is sick, to come and heal him. And while Jesus was on his way, the message came back to tell him, don't come to his house. He's not, he's not worthy for him to come under his roof. Just to speak the word. Come on. Just to speak the word. And it's, he knows that all will be well. Come on. Hallelujah. Jesus says, the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life giving. Hallelujah. Jesus' words, the words of God, this Bible, the word of God is alive. Hallelujah. It will quicken. 
Hallelujah. Spirit. Hallelujah. Bring life into you. Hallelujah. The word of God will bring salvation if you believe. Hallelujah. And after that, he went into Peter's house where Peter's mother-in-law uh, was sick. She had a fever. The Bible tells us that Jesus laid his hands on her and she was healed. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the afternoon, the Bible tells us, they brought unto Jesus, come on, hallelujah, come to Jesus, come to Jesus with all your burdens, with all your cares, hallelujah, with all your challenges. Come, come to Jesus, lay them at his feet. He says to cast all your burdens upon him. He's our burden bearer. He's our problem solver. Come on. He's our healer, our deliverer. Yes, and the Bible says he healed all of their diseases. Those who came with all their problems and he cast out all the demons from people. And a little after that, some folks said they want to follow him. <laughs> they want to follow him and he told one, say, listen, the foxes have holes, the birds have nests, but I, the son of man, I don't have anywhere to lay my head. You want to follow me? I don't have any place here on earth. I don't have a home here. You want to follow me? And somebody else said, I want to follow you, but let me go and bury my father. Jesus said, listen, if you want to follow me, follow me and let the dead bury the dead. Amen. <laughs> let the dead bury their dead. You come and follow me. And verse 23 says that Jesus entered into a ship and his disciples followed him. Hallelujah. This account is also in Mark chapter 4, 36 and onwards and also in Luke chapter 8. Hallelujah. Here Jesus is in the boat with his disciples and the Bible tells us there arose a great tempest a hurricane, a storm, maybe a category five. I don't know what category it was, but there came upon them and Jesus is in the boat. This tells me as I've been thinking about it, believer, it doesn't matter. In sp let me say in spite of the fact that we have the Lord Jesus Christ in our lives does not exempt us from storms and challenges and testings and temptation. No, but with Christ in our vessel, as the songwriter says, we can smile at the storm. Hallelujah. You might say, it's easy for you to say that. I've been through, I'm, listen, you've, you have to come to that place where you know that you know that you know that you are saved and that Jesus Christ lives in you by the, by the Holy Spirit and greater is he that is in you than anything that is in this world. If you come to that place where you know that, that the storms come. Hallelujah, let the waves roar. Jesus Christ is on board. He is on board with his disciples. And the storm came. The fact that Jesus Christ, we have him, will not stop the storms from coming into our lives. When we are out of this world, we will have no more storms to face. But while we are in this world, expect the storms to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is on board. And there arose a great storm. As I looked at it, I say, you know, all these, they, they um, signify or they typify that in spite of Jesus Christ being in our lives, storms will come. These storms, these physical, natural disasters here speak of a spiritual, of spiritual attacks that will come against us. Amen. Hallelujah desperate cries or cries of desperation let me ask us all this morning hallelujah let me ask you out there as i ask myself and i know hallelujah are you in a situation right now right where you are that requires or demands divine intervention are you in a situation and we all face situations that we need divine breakthroughs, divine intervention. Nothing else will work but a divine intervention from God Almighty. 
Are you at your wit's end? <laughs> want to pull your hair off? Or want to do some other crazy thing because of the challenges, especially at this time, where, uh, what we are facing globally among and, the, and the, the outcome of this pandemic. Yes? Hallelujah. The repercussions of this pandemic. Hallelujah. You don't know where to turn. You don't know what to do next. Not only where to turn, but who to turn to. <laughs> who to turn to. Hallelujah. Look what the disciples did. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that there, and listen, and let me, let me remind us, Jesus said, in this world, we shall have tribulation. Hallelujah. We are going to face tribulation. We're going to face trials. Things are going to, uh, things are going to come up against us. And let me remind us also, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. It's not people. But the devil behind the persons that he would use and those who avail themselves for him to use them. Hallelujah. But it's not against flesh and blood. Hallelujah. But against wicked spirits. Hallelujah. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Against principalities and powers. These are, these are, 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 are levels of demonic activities. Yes, hallelujah. Fiery trials, the Bible tells us, will come up against us. But we have to be armed. We got to be, keep the, the, uh, our armor on. Keep the armor of God, the whole armor, not a part of the armor. The whole armor put on, the whole armor of God. Because we are up against demonic activities. Print things that we cannot see. Hallelujah. So we got to be prepared. Hallelujah. Be armed. Keep the armor on because we have, we are going to face challenges. Hallelujah. We're going to face challenges. We got to be prepared. We got to be armed. Hallelujah. To be for one is to be for armed. We know, we know. So let us keep our armor on. Hallelujah. Cries of desperation all over the world. All over the world, you, you look at and, and protest, protest. Those are cries of desperation because something is wrong somewhere. Hallelujah. People are crying out for justice, equal rights, equal pay. All, all because something is wrong somewhere. And there are cries of desperation and desperate times call for desperate actions. And sometimes people do that which is not becoming as a result, of, uh, uh, trying to solve the problems of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be if we could only trust God. Hallelujah. We ought to come to that place to trust our God. Hallelujah for the breakthrough, for the results, for the answer, for the solution. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And if you are going through, you're not the only person. You know, sometimes when, when we are going through trials and tests and problems, and sometimes those things, we, we bring them on ourselves, some of them. We bring them because of bad choices. And we want to ask uh, the question, <laughs> Why me? So why not you? Let God form you. Let him fashion you. Let him train you. Hallelujah. Let him build character. Hallelujah. As we go through. Hallelujah. Sometimes we say, why me? Or what did I do? Yeah? People ask those questions. Why me? And I didn't do anybody anything. Why me? How come? I didn't do anything. Why, why me? Why not you? Allow God to form you, to fashion you, to build character, to give you inner strength, inner power. Hallelujah. Do not resist. And the Bible tells us he will chasten those whom he love. And if you are without chastisement, you're not a child of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So yield. 
yield to the training and the, and the chastisement and, and, and the pruning and the cutting away, hallelujah, of that which is not necessary in our lives. Let's submit, hallelujah, submit to God as he works in our lives. Hallelujah, as he uses the plane, you know those carpenter, hallelujah, you had the jack plane, I don't know, they don't use those things anymore, to smoothen, to smoothen the rough edges on the bottom, smoothen, hallelujah, and so God wants to use things, hallelujah, to smoothen the rough edges in our lives, those rough parts in our lives, amen, 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 and there arose, Hallelujah, a great tempest. Sometimes the things, the trials are so, so ter terrifying, fiery, fiery, hot. Hallelujah. <laughs> There's this chorus said that says, the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. The sweeter the victory if we allow God, if we go through. Hallelujah, we go through. There are things, this, this, this process. Hallelujah, we are going through a process. And as we go through, yet yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we are going through. Hallelujah, go through, let us go through. We'll get out on the other side. This is what Jesus said, we are going over on the other side. Let us go over on the other side. Going over onto the other side doesn't mean it would be smooth sailing. As we go on in life, Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And behold, there arose a great tempest. In, just like that. <laughs> just like that. Yes. Suddenly, some things come upon us. Suddenly, things we don't, didn't expect to happen. They come suddenly upon us. Hallelujah. Hello. Not without God's knowledge. Not without God's knowledge. He knows everything that will come against us hallelujah he knows it all and he knows how to get us through them if we allow him if we allow him and not take matters into our own hands and make the situation worse hallelujah then it really is hallelujah hallelujah and his disciples came to him listen the bible says jesus was asleep yes as as man he was tired, he take a sleep, he was hungry, hallelujah, as man. He was asleep, physical as a man, he was asleep. But as God, he knew what was going on. Hallelujah, he knew and he knows what is going on in your life. Don't think he's asleep. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. Hallelujah. He doesn't sleep, he doesn't slumber. Hallelujah. He knows what is going on in your life. He knows what is going on in my life. Hallelujah. And he wants to take care of it for us. If we will, if we will allow him so to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The Bible tells us in so much that the ship was covered with the waves. Sometimes you feel you are drowning. Problems here, you're, you're drowning in problems and the cares of this world. You, you are overwhelmed. Hallelujah. 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 And you need not be overwhelmed because we have someone to whom we can take all our cares, all our burdens, all our challenges, all our problems. Hallelujah. Yeah? Where are you at this time? Are you sinking? Are you sinking? Hallelujah. For those who have not yet known Jesus Christ as personal Savior and Lord, you have not yet been born again. Are you sinking in sin? Are you sinking? Are you going deeper and deeper down in the quagmire of sin? Listen to me. His hand can reach you where you are. If only you will cry out in desperation because you need help. You want change in your life. You want to be delivered, hallelujah, out of your situation. Take it to Jesus. Tell it to Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The Bible says the ship was covered. It was covered, water here, there, and everywhere. But Jesus was fast asleep. He was not bothered. 
because he has power over the winds and the waves of the sea has power the elements have to obey him demons obey him sickness flee at his name in his presence hallelujah demons cry out in his presence sickness is go in his presence hallelujah 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 storms cease hallelujah and the storms that are assailing your life can cease today if you call upon in call upon the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah but jesus was asleep i love that <laughs> but jesus was asleep it's so let me say it's so funny in quote hallelujah not absurd amen he wasn't bothered because he knew what he would do he knew and you know sometimes we panic like the disciples <laughs> we panic and become fearful hallelujah and thoughts all kinds of thoughts come to our minds and we start thinking how to work work it out we panic and sometimes we make panic decisions that are not good hallelujah we make the wrong decisions hallelujah we got to stop and think allow the lord have allowed especially the believer the child of god amen think relax in god and let him uh, 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 tell us which way to go how to move he will direct us amen hallelujah but jesus was asleep on the boat he was there believer child of god he is there if you if you still are in christ and you didn't back off hallelujah no samson <laughs> the bible tells us samson did not know the holy spirit left him he did not know sometimes we have form and fashion we have form and we have fashion we have a form of godliness but we deny the power thereof. No Holy Spirit. We just go through the form. But as a child of God, Holy Spirit is still in. You are still saved. You are still there. You are still on. God is still your, your father. Jesus Christ is still your savior. Rest in him. Take it to him. Jesus was on board let me ask is he on board in your life is jesus on board hallelujah and not religion we want relationship god wants to have relation he wants to restore the relationship that was lost in the garden hallelujah he wants to re restore that relationship with you and that could only be restored when, Je as Jesus told Nicodemus, you gotta be born again. Confess your sins to the Lord Jesus Christ. Confess to him. Hallelujah, ask God to forgive you. Hallelujah, no man comes to the Father but through Jesus. He's our mediator, he's our go-between. Hallelujah, he's, this is our, our, well, he's a stepping stone, so to speak. He's a stone, he's a rock. Hallelujah, we can go on to get to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you do not know Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, hallelujah, it's time. It's time. You know, we celebrate Jesus and Jesus' birthday, and it's so funny. We celebrate his birthday, yet we don't want him. Oh, it's, it's so ironic. Celebrate the birthday of your Savior, who should be your Savior, and you don't want to make him your Savior and your Lord. Yes, let this Christmas time, let this time you're celebrating, let it be a double celebration. <laughs> yes, you're born again, he's born again in your life. Cause it, let it be a double celebration. Hallelujah. Will you celebrate Christ in your life? Will you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and Lord? And you also celebrate his birth, not just outside there, his birth at Bethlehem, but his birth in your life. So a double celebration around this Christmas time. Amen. That will be so glorious. 
that would be so glorious, so powerful. Hallelujah. The angels in heaven will doubly rejoice over you as you celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ in your life and also celebrate his coming to earth. Wow, that would be so powerful. Hallelujah. 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 I declare that for you today. I decree that for you today that, that there will be a double celebration. The one you celebrate, the birth of Jesus Christ in your life when you get born again and accept him in your life and when you celebrate his coming to earth and celebrate his coming into your life double celebration wow that will be so powerful that will so honor God hallelujah that will so bless his heart amen as you do that hallelujah uh, wrong this time and don't wait for that time you can do it now you can do it now hallelujah and you do it now you will also still have a double celebration because i will have a double celebration i have a double celebration hallelujah celebrate his coming to earth and celebrate his coming into my life amen <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah Hallelujah. I am so happy when I read this. Jesus is on board. He was on board. He was on board. He was on board. In spite of him being on board, the storm came and in spite of him being on in our lives, storms will come against us. But he's there. Greater is he that is in us. Hallelujah. Than he that is in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And his disciples came to him and awoke him. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to stop right here for today. We'll continue next time. The topic is remember, cries of cry out to the Lord. Cry. He says, call unto me and I will answer you. Uh, Jeremiah was in prison when the word came unto him. How you might feel like you are in a prison right now. Hallelujah. Call. He says, oh, call. David says, I cried unto the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears, from all my troubles. He saved me. When you cry, he will hear. The Lord will hear and he will respond to the cries of your heart. Cry out today. Hallelujah. You need the Lord Jesus Christ in your situation. Cry out to him and he will answer and respond. He will deliver you. Father God, I give you praise and I give you thanks for what you have done, what you are doing and what you will continue to do. Continue to bless your word to our hearts. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Continue to view the message of hope every Wednesday afternoon at 5.30 p.m. on TIN. God bless you, bless you, bless you. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.